of the year was a fantastic reward actually, we're really, really pleased with it. It's a testament to actually just how busy and active the club is. It's a real accolade to be one of the, one of the finalists, uh, but then to actually come out uh, as top club uh, for the year was, was brilliant. Uh, and, and, you know, a great bonus for everyone that's, that's put in all the, all the time and effort to, to, to get there. Genuinely, it was quite a surprise. Uh, you know, we're a little inland club. Uh, we've been going for 50 years, and uh, you know, it's, it's just a huge, huge sort of acknowledgement of all the efforts that so many people put in. I was really happy because I've been a member here like most of my life, and I just felt really happy that they recognise such a nice, friendly club that everyone can get involved in. It was a big surprise to be honest because just, it just feels like we're one little club these days and it's amazing that we can win that over the whole of the UK. For, for me it's recognition of people giving up their time, putting effort into the club and hopefully reflecting the fact that year over year the youth section has grown and grown and grown. So we're very, very pleased. It's a delightful award to win and we just have to live up to the uh, status that that award uh, allowed us to, to talk about. Just the sheer amount of training, sailing that we carry on with and then the social activities on the back of that. So uh, it's, a, it's a busy, active club and we're really pleased uh, and chuffed to bits to have won Club of the Year. I started learning to sail about three years ago now and uh, it's not easy for me because I'm actually afraid of water, believe it or not, but it was something that I was really keen to do and here at Paperport um, I do some racing with my husband in an RS200. The best thing about Papercourt is that everyone's really friendly here, it's a great like, atmosphere and it's just the training's really good and like you can progress through the levels and they, they can get you to a really good standard. You don't even have to have your own boat, you can just turn up on the day and for not much money at all you can rent a boat, just go out and then sail. You know, for us it's really important that sailing is accessible, it's affordable and it's enjoyable. Paper Court is entirely dependent upon its volunteers. We have no employees, but we have 1,200 members, most of whom work extremely hard to ensure a very successful club. Enthusing volunteers in any club, and particularly in Paper Court, is about making sure that they know where the club is going, what they're aiming to achieve, and we have a very clear development plan. None of it could happen without people giving up time. Um, in some cases it's more than others, but actually all we ask of a member is that they make one day in the winter available and one day in the summer available to come and uh, fulfil one of those duties. It allows everyone else to have a fantastic time and uh, it's just part of being the, the volunteer club that we are. Papercourt Sailing Club has been here on Papercourt Lake for just over 50 years. And for some years we've tried to purchase the lake from the previous landlords and they've always declined to accept any offer. Suddenly last year they announced they were selling all their lakes and we were successful in acquiring it from them. They asked for sealed bids and we were very successful in persuading members to provide short-term bridging facilities which were then refinanced by way of 10-year loans from members and an equal 10-year loan from the bank. And we're happy that the success of the club will enable that to be repaid over the projected 10 years. There is absolutely no question that winning the club of the year has been a real boost for members, but not only that, actually for membership. We held an open day here last Saturday. We had nearly 300 local visitors who came to have a look at the club. Many of them went for a sail on our waters and a significant number have subsequently applied to join and we're delighted to welcome these new members to the club. I think the reason Paper Court won Sailing Club of the Year is the combination of a strong sailing programme, a very strong training programme, um, a very strong youth community, a strong sailability community, and the number of volunteers we have in the club to make it all happen. It comes back to the ethos of the club being run by the members for the members. The saying is, once you can sail at Paper Court, you can sail anywhere. So I really hope I can just carry on being involved in the club and giving stuff back to the club for the, giving me sailing, really.